today's video, I'm gonna tell you a strategy for beginner cheapest loadout which is, the rising ace strategy for fallen solo speedrun without consumables, no hardcore towers, no special towers, no level tower and most importantly, doesn't even have to rely on commander's tower ability. Set to random targeting 4, ace pilot and military base. Use toggle reverse, if ace pilot is, out of range. First of all, place ace pilot, no level. Place a farm, level 0. Wave 2. Upgrade Ace Pilot from level 0 to level 1. Now, upgrade farm from level 0 to level 1. Wave 3. Upgrade Ace Pilot from level 1 to level 2. Get second farm level 1, and upgrade first farm from level 1 to level 2. Wave 4. Get second ace pilot, no upgrades. Wave 5. Get 3 times farm, level 2. Wave 6. Wave 7. Upgrade second ace pilot from level 0 to level 2. the farm. Get 3 times level 2 and 1 times level 0. Wave 10 Take your time farming 8 times, level 2 Wave 11 Proceed upgrading farms as much as you can, before wave 13 Upgrade one ace pilot from level 3 to level 4. Wave 13. In case if you didn't know. Ace pilot level 4 now gives hidden detection nearby towers permanent. Wave 14. For the DJ booth, level 3. Make sure all farms are already level 3 and your DJ boot provides your farm and ace pilot a discount. Place 3rd ace pilot level 4. Wave 16. Keep farming to max level farms before wave 19. Wave 17. Wave 18. Upgrade one ace pilot from level 4 to level 5. Make sure it is set to figure 8 path rotation. Wave 19. Keep farming to max level farms before wave 22. Wave 20.
upgrade second ace pilot from level 4 to level 5. Figure 8 rotation as well. Now's your chance to upgrade all farms to max level without any hesitation. Level 23. Upgrade DJ Booth to max level. Wait 24. Upgrade 3rd Ace Pilot to max level. Figure 8 path for the last time. Wait 25. Now you can place all 5 military base to max level, where within DJ range to provide a discount. Make sure it is set to random targets. Wave 26. Feel free to use military base's airstrike ability. Wave 27. You can beat my record in under 15 minutes. Go try it for yourself. If you want to be part of the Hall of Fame later to be mentioned in the end of the video. Wave 28. Please subscribe to support and it motivates me to make such fully edited video like this. Wave 29. Wave 30. Place indefinite amount of minigunner, max level. Place it within DJ buff as always for the minigunners. Pro tips, place a tower like minigunner. Set a stun bait against warding to prevent massive stun for the majority of the Wave Place a new one max level.
here's the proof of my triumph. Okay, so, as I mentioned earlier about Hall of Fame, this is where we flex our speedrun records using this strategy to prove that you're better than anyone. The quickest time will be the number one of this strategy. We have rules to follow in order to join our Hall of Fame board. You are freely to beat Fallen Mode without reading the strategy if you could beat my record. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys around.